are in search for joy. Like they would go around places try to find joy, but when they do eventually find it, they would realize that the joy is within themselves. Yeah. Right? On a journey, so called living the life kind of thing, right? But yeah. the thing is, if you go on a journey like that, if you don't examine your inner experience, you wouldn't be finding the true joy right. that you should be finding. That exists within themselves. That's right. That's right. So if you go on a journey like that and observe internally, in parallel, yes. then you will find joy. For example, if you go on a vacation, if you were to go and you watch sunrise, and then you look at the sunrise, and you take a picture of the sunrise, and you're just like, oh, wow, cool, sunrise, you know? Mm-hmm. And, and just be intrigued, I guess, happy to sort of be there right. in the scene. All you'll be experiencing is just worldly identification or of your ego self being in the scene of sunrise. Yeah. On the other hand, if you go and watch sunrise, exact same time, same place as the other person, but you'd actually, while the sun is rising, you're mm-hmm. also watching your own inner experience, right? Not yes. not just not just focusing on oh how beautiful it is, or focusing on um, you know oh I'm 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 here here I am watching the sunrise, and mm-hmm. but you're just kind of focusing more on that experience, on that external. Mm-hmm. So you're just watching that internal experience as you are witnessing the sunrise. You're watching the sunrise, but you're witnessing your internal experience. Yes, yes. Then, if you do it that way, watching yourself being in the scene, right? But mm. you are actually experience being the scene, not being in the scene, like being <laughs> the scene. You know what uh-huh. I mean? Yeah, yeah, brother. And. This is what's making this groundbreaking. But how, how you're distinguishing the difference between the spirituality from 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 having experience uh, through the external world, and yeah. this spirituality, which is an experience in in our internal self. This is completely what I was going to say earlier, which the, we got cut off. <laughs> was that <laughs> we all got muted? Yes. Or the muted problem was that this world, people who are practicing and working on the spirituality, is already. One of the very few, you know, we're the outlier. Yes, but now, even amongst the outliers, that the spiritual worker traveling and looking inwards and witness our own inner experience, that's an outlier of the outliers. Completely, the the weirdos among the weirdos, <laughs> the, weirdos. <laughs> the weirdest of the weirdos. And and I just <laughs> wrote, I wrote here. This this is that breakthrough. <laughs> you know, the, I think that the life that you want to to have is not in the scene that you able to place yourself in, okay. but it's in the scene that you're able to find in yourself. Yeah, that's where the joy is. The joy is in the scene that's within you. Joy is within. It's not in the scene that you place yourself yeah. in. It's in the scene that is within you. It's, it's not about traveling across the world, but it's about bringing the. It's about being the rest of the world within you. Yeah, so that's gonna have to be said very slowly for people to register and then really take that in. So, brother, essentially the search that people do to um, find themselves to try to find themselves. The whole soul searching experience, where people go places, and some would experience such thing as find themselves, is essentially the experience as finding that joy is seen, only to realize then to, to the extent of that joy is seen that they see that the joy existed already within self. I think there's a similarity. The same can be said t h a t how we. Or one can find the universe or God within, right? Yes, absolutely. And having that insight will give us a broader understanding on how our consciousness is connected to others as well.
And there you have it, YouTubers. Thank you for tuning in today. We hope that this has brought some goodness into your life. It means a lot to us to be able to share our insights and the lessons we've learned. And if this has been of any value, please click the like and subscribe. And more importantly, please leave a comment so we can engage and see how to continue and provide valuable contents as this one is. Thank you for now. Namaste. Namaste.